My name's Trevor Tysman, and uh, basically we're going to do a female version of what we did with Coach McQueen. We want to take a look at flexibility, kind of the cardio, wh wh where the person's at, their heart rate. We'll check it throughout the workouts and just make sure uh, that we're gauging them properly and we're going to see if we're going to go uh, put them in beginner, intermediate, or advanced. It's just going to be a, a quick run through, maybe a little less time than we did with Coach McQueen, but you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Brandon Martinez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I'm Trevor, so let's just jump right into it and let's start getting loose. If you're going to help at home or if you want to join along, just hop on in. Uh, we're going to start with a little bit of a high knee touch. It's a simple warm up, going to be similar to what we did with the coach. As you can see, when you start using these bands a little bit, I know you've used them before a little. Yes. Your heart rate definitely climbs quicker and your legs start burning much faster. It's, they're definitely very good. All right, let's go ahead and go with the front thigh raise. The legs burning a little. One at a time. One at a time. Okay. Yep. Now, if you can balance, just go ahead and stay on one foot. And if you need to tap and go, whatever you can do. I'm going to go ahead and switch legs. Good. Most important part of this is just staying upright. We don't want to lean forward and we don't want to swing yeah. back. <laughs> right, right. We just want to keep your balance. Try and keep it all on your thigh. Good. Let's go ahead and widen out a little bit. Go with a slow squat. Just yes, try and I want to make sure I do right. Okay. okay. General rule of thumb is when we slide down. So if you squat forward, now slide your hips back. More. More. There you go. Okay. See how it takes your knees from the front okay. to the back. Good. A little more so. You want to try and have <laughs> your knees behind your toes. All over. Is that better? Yep. Go ahead and come all the way up. <laughs> That's right, you'll get it. Put your arms out in front of you if it helps you balance. Good. A little better, weight towards your heels. Good. Getting the blood pumping a little bit? Yep. Guess we should check your heart rate before we get okay. going too much. Just hold right down up. that middle button. One thirty two. So Again, we already have a good cardio going. We're starting to get the blood pumping a little bit. Let's just keep going a little and then we'll go ahead and stretch. Uh, so now we go back to the squat. We're going to shuffle one. Okay, shuffle I'm not one. sure I'll do that. I tried to do that. <laughs> Same concept. Whenever we do this, we all okay. want to keep, always want to keep our knees behind our toes. Right. So when we're here, we sit back. Slide your hips back. See how you're this way? Okay. Is that better? I think you're still a little bit... All right, so stand up. I'm not good at this. Oh, you're fine. This is all part of it. we got to work on it. So we want to sit back. Sit back. Squat. Good. Now slide okay. back just a hair. Just like that. Okay. And then now we're, when we're going to shuffle, you go one. 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 Good. How Keep many? going. A little bit more. Get your blood flowing a little. Still standing okay? Yep. Okay. Good. Getting your heart rate up a little bit. Feel a little sweat. All right, let's go ahead and check your heart rate one more time. 137, about the same. Why don't we go ahead and stretch out and then we'll jump into the routine. So we want to unclip. We're going to do the same type of thing. We're going to stay simple and we're just going to do a normal stretch, not worry so much about a band stretch as of right now. So let's go ahead and spread out. Go down the left leg or right, whichever you prefer. And again, when stretching, we just want to go to a good pole. You don't want to go too hard too far to where you're overextending. We just want to get a good pull in the hamstring. Good, switch. A good 20 second count is about where you want to be with a stretch. Taking deep breaths, breathing out. And down the middle. Good. Now slide down, put your knee on the ground. Good. Now we're going to slide out and get in your groin. Good. Always when you stretch, you want to make sure you warm up for at least five minutes and then you go ahead and do a static stretch, what we're doing right now. Each hold for about 20 seconds. You want to make sure to get your hamstrings, your butt, your low back, and your glutes. Okay. Feeling a little looser? Now, when we did it with the coach, I told you to make sure that when you pull forward, you want to lean forward with your hip flexor so it targets your quad more. Again, so when you're here, you kind of shift your hips forward. Yep. Feel a little more pull. Okay. Yep.
Good. Okay, feeling a little loose? Sure. Let's get some trunk twisters in there. It's important that you always get your lower body and your core loose with these exercises. Like a helicopter. See how you're going this way? See my shoulder line? Let's try and stay centered. Stay straight. Right here. Oh, okay, so I'm moving, yeah. just moving your arms. Yep. Well, you want to twist your torso, but you want to stay in one spot. Good. 